हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एफएसटी ऑनलाइन द चैनल ऑफ फूड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हियर वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ हैसल एच ए सी सी पी यूजुअली प्रोनाउंस्ड एज अ हैसल हैव अ फुल फॉर्म एज हजार्ड एनालिसिस एंड क्रिटिकल कंट्रोल पॉइंट हैसल इज अ मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन व्हिच food safety is addressed through the analysis and control of any type of hazards whether it is physical chemical or biological starting from raw material production up to the consumption of the finished product in short hazard is a systematic method for the identification assessment and control of safety hazards Hazard works on seven important principles, which are enlisted here one by one. First is to conduct hazard analysis. Second, to determine the critical control points, that is CCPs. Third is to establish the critical limits. Fourth, to establish monitoring procedures for critical control points. Fifth is to establish the corrective action. Sixth is to establish verification procedures, and seventh, most important, to establish a record system. First important principle of HACCP is to conduct hazard analysis. Before that, what do we mean by hazard? Hazard means any physical, chemical, or biological factor that makes food unsafe for human consumption. so here the food is analyzed to identify any biological chemical or physical hazard in raw materials and processing steps and this analysis is done to check and determine chances of occurrence and intensity to make food unsafe for human consumption second important principle is to determine the critical control points that is ccps critical control point is a point or a step or a procedure in a food manufacturing process at which control can be applied in order to prevent or eliminate or reduce any food safety hazard to an acceptable level so when we consider a particular step as a critical control point this determination is done with the help of logical thinking while deciding a particular point or a step as a critical control point some factors are taken into considerations like whether the control at a particular step is really necessary or whether the control at this step really reduces or eliminates hazard to an acceptable level or whether the contamination with the identified hazard could occur in excess if we do not apply a control at that step or whether the subsequent steps will eliminate or acceptably reduce the hazard third principle is to establish critical limits what do we mean by limit limit is the criteria that distinguishes acceptable from unacceptable so it is the maximum or minimum value to which hazard must be controlled at a critical control point to prevent eliminate or reduce to an acceptable level the occurrence of the identified food safety hazard so this critical limit are time temperature humidity or ph like values in short limits should be measurable in some cases more than one critical limit is needed to control a particular hazard fourth principle is to establish monitoring procedures for critical control points monitoring means observing so it is a planned sequence of observations 
or measurements to assess whether the critical control point is under control and to produce an accurate record for future use in verification so monitoring is very important for a hazard system the employee responsible for the monitoring procedure should be clearly identified and adequately trained fifth important principle is to establish the corrective action corrective action is an action taken when the results of earlier step that is monitoring at the critical control point indicate that there is loss of control since hasap is a preventive system to correct the problems before they affect the food safety plant management has to plan in advance to correct the potential deviations from established critical limits the plant management has to determine the corrective action in advance employees monitoring the critical control point should understand this process and be trained to perform the appropriate corrective actions sixth principle is to establish verification procedures verification means cross checking it is the application of methods procedures test or other evaluation in addition to monitoring to determine compliance with the hazard plan some examples of verification are the calibration of process monitoring instruments at specified intervals etc plant management should check that employees are keeping accurate and timely hazard records Seventh most important principle of HACCP is to establish a record system. Records are the written proofs that gives us an idea about organization's implementation of HACCP. Accurate and complete HACCP records can be very helpful for documentation of the establishment's compliance with its HACCP plan. tracing the history of an ingredient in process operations or a finished product when problem arise identifying trends in a particular operation that could result in a deviation if not corrected identifying and narrowing a product recall so what does these records include record of a hazard system includes records for the critical control points establishments of the limits corrective actions results of verification activities and the hazard plan including hazard analysis to establish record keeping procedures plant management may develop forms to fully record the corrective actions taken when deviations occur this is the sample form shown in the image identify employees responsible for entering the monitoring data into the records and ensure that they understand their roles and responsibilities i hope here we have understood seven most important principles of hasa Thank you and do visit again FST online the channel of food science and technology